A Nazi dad wore a Nazi uniform in court during a custody hearing. We've talked about this family before. You might recognize the guy. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, from the picture here. His name is Heath Campbell. He's 40 years old. He is a white supremacist. He named his oldest son Adolf Hitler. And he strolled into a New Jersey courthouse yesterday dressed in the full Nazi uniform to try to convince a judge to allow him visitation rights with his toddler named Heinrich, his toddler named Heinrich. He says prisoners get to see their children. Murderers get to see their children. What's so horrible about being a Nazi? I just want to be a dad. I just want to prove I'm a good father because I am. So what if I'm a Nazi? Who cares? Campbell and his now estranged wife, Deborah, had their four children taken away from them in 2010 because of charges of violence in their uh, in their home. We covered that story back in yeah. 2010. So our audience who has been with us for a while might remember this family. And uh, they showed up on authorities radar after they publicly complained that a local ShopRite supermarket refused to write seven year old son Adolf Hitler's name on a cake in 2008. Their kids' names are Adolf Hitler Campbell, Heinrich Hans Campbell, and they, of course, have two lovely daughters, Joyce Lynn Aryan Nation Campbell. This is this. This is not an onion story. And five year old Hans Lynn Jeannie Campbell. All of the children were placed in foster care in one home. The two girls and Heinrich, named after Hitler's right hand man, Heinrich Himmler, remain there while little Adolf was moved to another home after allegedly causing some trouble. Three oldest kids have been adopted since, and uh, Campbell is being told by courts, you can't see them, you can't see them. And he showed up in his Third Reich uniform uh, trying to uh, get uh, get access to his children. And here's the other thing. I mentioned that his he's, he's estranged from his wife, and he showed up with this other woman. This is a very stern-looking woman, also wearing female Nazi uh, um, an out, would you, do you call it an outfit or a uniform or uniform. A, co a costume? I don't really know what you call it. Uh, a joke. Yeah. And, uh, he was asked if his outfit might put off a judge and he replied, he can look within me, not on the outside. How about I judge him? I mean, the guy wears a dress after all, seems like a bright guy. I mean, yeah, don't look at the outside, which is his Nazi uniform. Look at the inside, which led him to name a kid. Adolf Hitler. Well, that's what well, we the only wearing. At. The only reason he's wearing that is because he wants you to see the outside. Yeah. But apart from the violence that apparently he and potentially his wife have committed against their kids. Yeah. Uh, do you think they should have their kids taken away just because he considers himself a Nazi Nazi and named his kid, you know, Himmler? That's the question, right? On the one hand, you can't take children away just for beliefs. If we separate out, separate out the fact that there's violence, which is what Natan's saying. On the other hand, does Freedom give you the right to advocate the extermination of other people, right? When people uh, love people who are like them or who they care about but have no empathy for others, we call them sociopaths, and that makes us question whether a sociopath is fit to be a parent. Well, I mean, I think right off the bat, it's child abuse if you name your kid Adolf Hitler. You think it is? Yeah. All flat out, it's child abuse. Yeah, you're just because setting, of what you're bringing them in their life, right? Right, right. You're, you're setting you're, what you're setting them up for. Interesting. Uh, I don't think a good parent would or could ever do that. I think this man is a terrible parent, and it's neglect, and that's is pretty much it. I don't know. I don't know what Dave is doing right I just, now. Do you have any response to that? I'm. I don't disagree. I'm just not convinced that we would want to go down that road if there isn't any physical or otherwise abuse. I mean, you have parents doing a number of other crazy things that yeah. are different, but potentially just as damaging to the kid. Like that teaching I'm sure religious we fundamentalism. I'm sure agree is grounds for taking kids away. 